Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be assembling some charcuterie cups, which is something new for me. I do love making charcuterie boards, but I've never made charcuterie cups. We have a little family friends giving today and everybody's bringing an appetizer and a dessert. So I was looking on Pinterest what to bring, like different holiday ideas, and I saw charcuterie cups and I thought, okay, that looks really cute, creative, but still simple. So I went ahead and got some charcuterie cups on Amazon. They have different kinds, but I got these right here, not like the cone kind, but the ones with the flat bottom. And these come with sticks for cheese and then these sticks I'm gonna use for salami or I don't know, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. And for dessert, I thought I would make a grazing board, basically like a charcuterie board, but instead it's just gonna be strictly desserts to nibble on. I have like different little mini pie tarts and cinnamon rolls, like little mini things and just assemble it with some fruit and that's what I'm gonna be bringing. Let me quickly show you guys what I have for the dessert cups. I do have to run to the store real quick because I realized we don't have enough crackers and I wanna buy, Aldi right now has really great seasonal finds when it comes to charcuterie. Every single year they have like really great cheeses, crackers, jams, things like that, like really great unique finds and very affordable. So basically everything that I have, including the dessert is from Aldi, mostly, most of it, but I thought these would be really great to put inside the charcuterie cup because they're nice and long. Clearly they're opened and there's not enough, so I'm gonna get a run to the store real quick and get a new pack, but I got some little deli trays here. There's like a few different variations of salami, so there's one with classic salami, herbs and spices, black pepper, and then there's another one with pepper salami, hot capicolo, I think, and calabrese. These are so good. And then I got some cubed cheeses to make my life easier. You can just stick them on the sticks. I got Gouda and then extra sharp white cheddar. Some grape tomatoes on the vine. And then these right here. Crackers, which I need to buy more of. I'm thinking to put some nuts in there so I have some cashews. And then dried cherries. Aldi also has really great dried um, mango. It's really good just to like nibble on. And then I also want to put in a sprig of thyme. My sister has a whole bunch growing in her backyard, so I asked her if she can bring me some to the party and I'll just pop them in there at the party. I'll just include a clip at the end. Hopefully I won't forget, but I think that's kind of like everything. As I'm assembling it, I'll see what it is that I want to add in or anything like that and we'll kind of go from there. So it seems simple, but I guess we'll see. I'm currently sitting in the LD parking lot and I picked up some things, so I wanted to show you guys. I'm filming on my iPhone, by the way, before I went home because I feel like it's gonna be pretty loud at home. I have these cute little snowmans for my kids. They're melting snowman hot chocolate. They love like hot cocoa bombs, so I thought those were really cute. They have so, so many cute seasonal things, you guys. LD is the place to be. And then I got these. I thought they'd be perfect for the dessert board. The little Thanksgiving chocolates. Like I cannot, they're just so cute. And then I got some crackers. I saw that they had like pretzel sticks, which is perfect. I picked up mixed seeds, sea salt and olive oil, and then they also had a rosemary one, but not everybody loves rosemary, so I didn't grab that one. And then I got these crackers, which I originally came for. We needed some milk. And then I picked up some little mini gherkin pickle things. These are called cornich cornichons. German style cornichon pickles infused with herbs. I don't know, we're gonna give them a try. So I got two of these, I thought they'd be cute. Cause the ones that Aldi carries are a little bigger than this. And I figured these are a perfect size. And then I saw some wild garlic cheese stuffed peppers, cherry peppers. I don't know, it just sounded delicious. So you know, we're gonna give them a try. We go home right now and we're gonna assemble those cute little cups. Thank you. 
charcuterie cups are all done I'm about to pop them in the fridge because we still have a few hours until we have to go if you're doing this ahead of time what I'd recommend is putting everything together like do all the cheese sticks do all the tomato sticks you know whatever refrigerate what needs to be refrigerated and then right before you're heading out just go ahead and assemble it or a little bit before you're heading out assemble it I feel like that would be a lot easier than putting all the cups in the fridge especially if your fridge is short of space but now I'm gonna move on to the dessert board so I'm gonna go ahead and wash all the fruit lay it out to dry and then just do like a dessert grazing board of sorts. I'm just gonna use this board here. This is actually a pizza peel. My regular rectangular charcuterie board tray that I usually use is in storage. So we're just gonna make it work with this guy right here and I have a bunch of little desserts as well that I picked up from mostly Aldi. Thank you. 